we're young and in this world Chasing dreams and girls Running from our problems And I know we're old enough Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It's Nikki, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a favourites video And this is like stuff that I've been loving Throughout the past few months I wouldn't say that this is like a monthly favourites Because I haven't done a monthly favourites in quite a while So... If you guys do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you comment. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification as always because I feel like people are not watching my videos or you're not getting my notifications. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this video started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my beauty favourites slash hair products that I've been loving for the past few months. Um, so the first thing is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Hair Mask. You guys have seen me talk about it on my Instagram and my YouTube channel as well. And this video is sponsored by Coco and Eve. So thank you Coco and Eve for sponsoring this video. I really do love this hair mask. My hair feels so soft and shiny and it smells really, really good. Like I've said this like so many times. You guys might have seen my video of me trying to get out on my channel i leave it up in the cards or i put it down in the description bar below for you guys so you guys can check that out i really love it. it smells amazing it's got amazing ingredients like coconut and fig inside it so yeah um if you guys want to use my code i've got a 15 percent discount code for you guys to check out so my code is nikki15 i think so if you guys want to purchase it um you know you get a little bit of a discount so yeah I really do feel like it's worth it I haven't even finished it yet and I've used it like three times so that just says a lot you don't really need to use a lot on your hair if that makes sense so yeah and I feel like for the best results you should just try to use it on soaking wet hair because that's how I use it and yeah I just love it it makes my hair feel amazing like I literally went from crusty and dry to like soft and amazing my next favorite like i have never spoken about this brand on my channel and the, i have my reasons because i just feel like this brand low-key does not cater to type 4 hair and i feel like you guys know which brand i'm talking about but yeah um it's diva curl and this is the What's this called? A wash day wonder. Right. Diva curl wash day wonder. I've been using this for maybe three months now. I was so skeptical to try it, but while I was like on YouTube, I was just like searching like different hair brands just for me to try it because obviously I'm a blogger. I'm supposed to be trying out different products, and I saw some girl. She had like. <gasps> what's her name oh Jayla Jayla on YouTube she was using this and I was like we've got similar hair so I was like let me try this and this thing was not cheap this was like I think this cost me like 30 pounds so basically I'm just like you guys like if I see a youtuber using something I'm gonna believe them like I'm gonna be like yo I think this might work on my hair so I I bought it here and I love it's oh my gosh if you guys want to see a video on this like comment down below because this this will change the game for you i'm telling you guys basically i use this before i'm about to shampoo my hair because this basically helps with detangling your hair like as soon as you put this on your hair your hair will feel soft shiny bouncy detangled like this literally is a wash day wonder and i would definitely purchase it over and over again until it basically finishes but I only use this when on the days when my hair really 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 needs it because obviously £30 isn't cheap so and this is basically just a detangler I've spent £30 on a detangler but yeah um, if you guys want to try it I said <laughs> this is a product I really recommend like this this year, this is not literally my holy grail product and I've, I've never used like pre-poos or anything like that. I just don't believe in them, but this I believe. I believe in this. So Divika, if you're watching this, 
Send me some, please. <laughs> the next product that I've been loving lately is the Got To Be Glue. The Got To Be Glue Gel. So, I know this is really bad for your hair, but I've been using it on my edges because I low-key feel like Ecostella doesn't slick my edges when my hair is blown out like this. Like, it just makes my hair feel wet. But when my hair is curly, my hair is laid and slicked. But this takes it up. But it dries your edges out and low-key it pulls your ed on your edges. So what I suggest you do is get some Jamaican black castor oil, put that on your edges first, or weigh your hair first then put some Jamaican black castor oil, then put this on and then put Jamaican black castor oil over it because you know we're not trying to play with our edges, you guys knew, know that I did lose my edges at one point so yeah this is bae, like it literally slicks my hair down for a couple days like it won't move, I'll literally burn this and it won't move it's not the healthiest, if you guys got better options please put them in the comment section below i wanted to try out hicks edges i put a poll up for you guys to see if it was any good and you so it was basically like 50 50 some of you was like saying it was trash like it made your hair white it wasn't good and some people are saying that that's bait that's life like but i just don't know what to do because that's sh it's 15 pounds for a little tube but yeah my next hair favorite is something that you guys have been seeing on basically nearly every single video for the past four months i think and it's this i hope there's no hair in it i'm so sorry guys but it's the tangle teaser brush and this is it says that it's a dry it's for dry hair like you use it on your dry hair not like wet hair but i use this on my wet hair and how i found out about it was you know Lissetti, Lissette, if you're watching, probably not, but yeah, I was watching her video and I was like, what is that brush? And then she said Tangle Teaser and I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a product junkie, I swear to you, like, I went on the internet, I was like, okay, let me find this. I bought it and it's changed the game. I don't even use a wide tooth comb anymore, literally. This is bae. Like, your hair won't break and your hair... If you're doing like a wash and go or something, your curls will be so defined. So, mm -hmm. this is Bay. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys. And it's definitely worth every single penny that I spent on this. You guys know I like my little cameras. I mentioned this in my last favorite video. And my new latest favorite is disposable cameras. I know, such a throwback, right? But... I really like these. I feel like it captures memories, and obviously it captures memories and I like to have things that are tangible in my hands. Like obviously you never know when your iPhone or like whatever you're using might delete it or uh, how do I say it? Might delete it all of a sudden. So yeah, I really love this. It takes really good pictures. Um, I just love the, the whole like 90s like vintage vibes from it so yeah I need to get some of these pictures printed off actually but yeah. My next sort of techie kind of camera favourite is this app and it's not sponsored so you know this is coming from the heart. Um, it's this app called Free Prints, I think that's what it's called on my phone, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, free prints, and basically all my pictures. I love my phone. All my pictures that I have on my phone, I literally get forty-five free prints every single month, and all I have to pay is two ninety-nine for delivery. And I paid for this little like album type of box thing, and I basically get like all my pictures in my hands. I can show my my ratty kids when I'm older. Um, yeah, but it's really cool. Like, I remember my mum used to like print off loads of pictures for us, so this is kind of cool to have. You know. So my next favorite is these lashes. People have been asking me, what lashes are you wearing? Like, what lashes are these? Are these individuals? Are they strip? And these are strip lashes, and I got them from AliExpress. I'll leave like all the names that I've 
like i'll leave all the names and numbers and all that stuff in the description box below so you guys can check it out these lashes are amazing they're so natural like i used to get my lashes done like every two weeks and it wasn't cheap it was costing me like 40 pounds every single time these lashes are so good they look so natural like look at these ones focus is it in focus yeah these are so so nice some of them i've used some of them i haven't but yeah i'll leave them in the description for you guys so you guys can check that out because i love them i can't live without lashes now because like i don't wear makeup the only makeup i wear is lip gloss and eyebrows so now that i've got lashes i feel like it just puts the whole look together and they're really really cheap like you guys won't believe like this cost me two dollars each two dollars each two dollars each no joke they're good quality i've reused them they're amazing i feel like low-key like just like a secret between me and you guys i've seen a couple people advertising like lashes on their instagram pages saying that like they've got new lashes coming out and i feel like these are the lashes like they just basically slapped their name on the lashes like i'm not trying to make anyone get out of business or anything but they look exactly the same so you know you're gonna save some money they're literally two dollars okay so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is just some of the animes that i've been liking for maybe like the past two months i'm not gonna reveal too much because i'm actually gonna make a separate video for all my favorite animes for all my anime subscribers out there that like my anime type of talks um so the first one is black butler um i watched like one season of it if you guys know where i can watch more seasons give them down in the comment section below because i've been trying to find more seasons i don't even remember what season i watched but i really really like i just really like dark anime sometimes but i really liked it um it's just about a boy that has like this butler that's kind of low-key evil all their demons but yeah i really liked it um another one that i liked no another one that i love like it came back again is attack on titan like literally i've been so into season three if you guys if you if you watch attack on titan dm me so we can you know talk because i want to talk to somebody about attack on titan because like i got some questions because the last episode that i watched last sunday's episode i was low-key a bit confused i was just like what the hell is going on but yeah some of you guys might not be thinking like yo what is this girl talking about but yeah attack on titan's been lit the the animation has been lit the storyline has been lit i want to know more i want to know more and it's just the beginning literally that's all i'm hearing is literally just the beginning everyone that basically um reads the manga is just like yo it's just the beginning i'm just like okay it's the beginning i watched this other one this was a suggestion for somebody i follow on instagram and i think it's called mariah nikki i'll leave the name here that was sick if you like death note you're gonna like this anime because it was just like it was so it's like a mind fox literally i really loved it i i sat for a whole day watching it and i loved it it was just so amazing it's not like the best quality but it was amazing literally i just loved it i, I would watch it again the next one I watched, I watched this the other day, and this was called yeah, The Disastrous Life of Sai, Saiki, Saiki K. Um, basically, it's, it's just been popping up in my mentions for Netflix for the past few months, and I'm just like, um, I don't know if I want to watch this, but I saw one of you's lot watching it, and I was just like, I want to watch it now, because it, it might be lit, it might be lit. So I went on it, I watched it. I haven't finished watching it, I'm still watching it, and I love it. It's literally got One Punch Man's humour that I love, that sarcasm, if you like that kind of sarcastic humour. And he's low-key just in love with himself, but I don't feel like you can see that. 
but yeah i really love it it's really good it's really good i like his pink hair as well um i do want to do like some like kind of cosplay type of stuff so if you guys want to see that on my channel i'll put that but uh, i'll do it i'll put a poll here if you guys want to see that i'll, I'll do it for you. but yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you guys want to see more videos like this please comment down below and i will do more talking style videos like this let me know if you guys like this setup it's really dark right now so that's why it's quite dark and apologies if i keep looking that way it's because i don't have my contact lenses or my glasses on so i keep looking that way to see if i'm in focus and stuff so apologies for that new camera and stuff i'm not used to it but i will get better at it so yeah thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys